More than 80% of the human decision makers apply intuition in their daily life, often or very often. This is a huge number. The majority of the decisions we are, we are not making based on logic, but as the 80% of the leaders say, we often or very often decide by intuition. This means that the logical part is just a tool, what we have developed till now quite a bit. At the same time, the major decisions are not made by them, but the majority of the decisions are made by intuition, by using, by applying intuition. So, what do we do now? We can consider to improve, still improve uh, logic, but what will we achieve with that uh, if uh, we are using intuition for decision making? So uh, what we need to do, or we, we shall consider to do, is to improve our own intuition, to improve the quality of the intuition, to improve how well we can, um, how well we can uh, use the intuition, meaning if we can uh, clearly catch those moments of intuition which bump up. So what we can do is to improve those moments when we use intuition in decision making, because that's what we are doing anyhow. So if we are doing that, then um, let's improve the quality. Um, if we are already uh, doing, uh, let's say, push-ups, then why not going to a gym? And why not um, using some methods to improve our intuition? There are several methods to improve intuition, by the way, but there are two major ways with what, we, what we can categorize. One way is to improve the happy mindset. This is the path of so-called accumulations because we are accumulating so many good impressions by positive psychology, by the findings of positive psychology. We know what we shall do in order to improve our life and, and our others' life. So this way people become better. So um, these impressions what we create in the world becomes uh, nicer and kinder and happier. So basically by that we become better people happier people. So this path of accumulation, the path of happy mindset is one way what we can use in order to get more relaxed because if we are relaxed then our intuition can cut through to through the clouds of our thoughts and feelings. Like a sun shines through the clouds of clouds of the sky. So uh, the other method what we can use is called awareness intelligence. What does it mean? It means that uh, we are just becoming more aware of what is happening. What does it mean? Becoming more aware because we are always aware. Yes, at the same time we can become even more aware and more mindful. Meaning on the physical uh, level, uh, on the, on, in, in terms of other things and our body as well. On the social level about social connections and, uh, and our internal uh, feelings on the um, level below that, the cultural level, the uh, tendency and process level, which is connected to our habits, what we bring from home, these cultural tendencies and so on. So we can be aware of those. We can get to become aware of those by, for example, uh, improving the um, prefrontal cortex uh, by different methods, for example, mindfulness. And um, uh, by um, uh, re reaching that point, uh, we can also go deeper uh, and we can uh, consider to focus on how we focus on the world. So we can uh, differentiate our focus and, and change it and, and uh, um, change it whenever we need it. For example, when we need to uh, engage into something uh, because the situation needs some engagement, then we just jump in it like a, like a lion and, and we just do things uh, and, and so on. But when we can relax, then we just stay in space, we call that. Because uh, space is a very interesting point in this whole thing, because uh, according, according to quantum physics, everything is based on space. Everything appears in space, plays around in space and disappears in space. And actually, uh, the, the whole world what we experience is just a flux of tendencies, uh, which we experience um, as, a, as an illusion, we can say, uh, based on the findings of uh, bi the biology of uh, intuition, we can find links about it. And also, uh, we can consider that uh, not only um, that, but uh, uh, in uh, economics, Daniel Kahneman uh, wrote a um, paper about professional intuition that, uh, uh, for example, people in, in uh, economics use their uh, intuition a lot in, in their decision making. 
So philosophy is about it. Uh, the whole philosophy is mainly around how we perceive things, uh, how we uh, treat them as uh, as wisdom, and how we how we uh, apply it. And uh, also psychology. Psychology has the method of positive psychology, and basically, the positive psychology makes us able to relax and be able to be uh, um, relaxed enough to uh, be able to look into our own minds and not be afraid of it. So just to be relaxed and let intuition appear. So um, focusing on space, this quality of space itself, um, only, only by that we can improve our intuition. So we don't do any special thing. We just live our life as we lived till now and we live our, uh, and make our decisions just like that, just, just the way we did till now. And in the meetings we sit just like and, uh, that and we talk like uh, the same and so on, the same way. We just know that uh, every, the behind everything there is space. Everything appears in space, plays around and disappears in space. We cannot create a pure vacuum because uh, constantly light particles appear in it and, and the virtual particles which come together and become matter at, at the same time, uh, at one point of a time. And um, then we can see that there's much more space within an atom than so-called matter. Because that matter which is in the atom also can be uh, cut uh, into pieces and, and they can be um, um, uh, they dissolve back into space at the same uh, at, at one point of time. So basically, we know that everything uh, is uh, based on space. Everything appears in space, and with this knowledge, we can highly improve our intuition. So. Um, if we want to get deeper into what we say uh, and how we uh, improve our intuition, we can just consider to apply happy mindset and awareness intelligence as a development method. So uh, the happy mindset um, is what makes things better, what transforms those things which need to be transformed, uh, which were picked out by awareness intelligence and uh, trans get transformed by happy mindset. With those methods, positive psychology methods, which um, make things better. I'd say it like that, just easy like that, easy as that. So, awareness, intelligence, happy mindset, these two together combined we call responsible happiness because it's not only happy, because we are not only smiling all the time, but it's also responsible. Why? Because we also point out things. So these two combined is responsible happiness. And if we keep the experiences of, of space behind everything, and we just know that everything uh, is f uh, there is more space in the matter than 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 material itself. So there's more space in everything, uh, and uh, space connects us. Space penetrates the other things. It penetrates our own atoms. It penetrates other people's atoms. And actually, this space is full with different particles and uh, light particles and energy and different uh, um, morphic fields, which are pointed out by quantum physics. So, um, this can be experienced by intuition. When we apply our intuition, then just right out of space we let things appear. And what we need to learn or to find a way is not to get it distracted by our logical thinking or emotions. We uh, what we just have to do is to just stay in space and just let the information uh, uh, bubble up. And just uh, recognize it. And that's it. So basically, uh, we use methods to clean away the clouds of uh, um, um, hard, uh, let's say, um, massive, uh, solid thinking and, and uh, emotions. And, the other, and on the other hand, what we use is awareness to let the uh, sun shine through our um, clouds of thoughts and um, uh, feelings.